Hello everyone! Welcome to this video on the new Zoho One Unified User Experience. My name is Lyra Mackay and I am an evangelist at Zoho for Australia and New Zealand. As some of you may already know, our team at Zoho has just launched a new Zoho One, which has new apps, new services and a whole new user experience for our customers. If you're not familiar, this year in 2021, Zoho just celebrated our 25th anniversary. And over the course of the last 25 years, we've built quite the team of over 10,000 employees. Those employees have helped design, create, and launch over 50 applications for our 70 million users in over 180 different countries. So what is Zoho One? Zoho One is the operating system for business. It's a unified suite of 45 different applications for you to run your entire business all within the One subscription. If you're wondering whether Zoho One can handle your business needs, we have over 40,000 customers, making it the most popular suite in Zoho. And our biggest Zoho One customer has 32,000 employees. Our long-term goal for Zoho One has been unification at every level, from the experience to the apps, right down to the infrastructure and networks that run in the back end. Today, I will focus on three aspects of unification experience, services, and applications. Let's dive straight into the applications. When we launched Zoho One in 2017, it started with 30 apps. And over the years, as we've developed more, we've added over 45 applications. They can handle processes in multiple departments from marketing to business intelligence, finance, and all the way down to communication. And in this release of Zoho One, with the pandemic in mind, we've prioritized these three categories. Starting with digital commerce, now more than ever, businesses in Australia and New Zealand are turning to digital channels to sell their products. So we decided to bring Zoho Commerce into Zoho One so that you can accomplish more than just selling and grow your online business. With Zoho Commerce, you can build a website, take orders, track inventory, process payments, manage shipping, market your brand and analyze all of that data all from within your online store. Now moving to remote collaboration. We've added three new apps inside Zoho One to make it easier for you to collaborate with your team while working remotely. Zoho Lens is designed with field service technicians in mind. Especially during the pandemic, when we haven't been able to move around like we used to, Zoho Lens can help solve problems faster and reduce on-site visits. Using augmented reality, Lens is an interactive remote assistance tool. You can invite field technicians or even customers to join the session via email or text and view the problem in real time. Simply make notes, draw or annotate the image and this information is reflected on both ends. The next new application Zoho Learn is a complete knowledge and learning management platform designed to help you capture and retain your team's knowledge, build training programs and measure the results of your training. With powerful features such as article templates, discussion boards, activity timelines, and quizzes, you'll be able to facilitate courses for your team in no time. The last remote collaboration app is Team Inbox. And this is a shared inbox for teams that eliminates the need for CCs and duplicate responses and allows people to work together within their own inbox. All of your emails to shared addresses can be directed to Team Inbox so your team can view all incoming emails and their replies and you can easily assign owners to each incoming message so you know who is working on what. When the pandemic started in 2020, Zoho shut down our offices and moved our entire team to working from home in a matter of days. And we could only do this because we all run on Zoho One. And of the 45 apps available, over 20 of them focus on productivity, collaboration, or communication. Because we know that remote and hybrid work is important and here to stay. The final new app in Zoho One is Zoho Data Prep. Powered by AI, Data Prep helps you discover errors and prepare data faster than ever. You can bring in data from multiple sources, analyze and improve quality, transform and enrich your data with language detection and keyword extraction. And you can even catalog your data with custom tags to help improve discoverability during a search. It even works with third-party and custom-built tools. Now moving on to the services. If you're a Zoho user, you may be familiar with many of these services available. And while we've added three brand new services to Zoho One, we've also made some significant improvements to the existing services, starting with Analytics, our business intelligence tool. 
There are now over 1,500 pre-built reports and dashboards to help you synthesize your data. And this is really something that businesses of all shapes and sizes can take advantage of. From the moment you start putting data into your CRM or help desk or even a third party tool, all of that data can be understood and brought into analytics where it is visualized and you can automatically populate these pre-built reports. You also have the option to create your own, but these templates will give you a great starting off point. On top of that, we've tried to make it as easy as possible for every one of our customers, regardless of technical abilities, to get the reports they want. Now, using natural language processing, you can simply type in a question using your language to get the reports you need. Because Zoho has built all of our technology, we've been able to leverage what we've already created and provide you with a tool to forecast based on the data that is already in your system. Zia, which is our Zoho Intelligence Assistant, works by analyzing trends and seasonal patterns to help you make more accurate predictions. The last service we've enhanced is Search. Powered by Zia, Search is an actionable organization-wide search engine. Simply search a word or a name and get a visualization of all of the applications it is featured across. Then click on a record to get more information. From there, you are given multiple options to take action, like sending an email, a message, call, or even a video call. And what's really cool here is that it not only has to return information to you, but also understand the super complex permission structures that underlines all of these applications, so that a new hire won't see what a manager sees, and the manager won't see what the CEO has access to. And like analytics, you can now use natural language in search to ask important things like show me mails from the VP of sales or show me documents shared by my team. Now, when we look at a simple request like show me documents shared by my team, you can see there's a number of complex things that need to be understood. Documents can be various types of resources and don't just show me documents, but show me documents that have been shared and only show the ones shared by my team. It needs to know who I am, how I fit into the organization structure, and who my team is. The same thing happens when we ask, show me tickets assigned to my department by Scott. Who is Scott? It could be a colleague or a customer. So it needs to understand how all of these things work together to give you the best result. And this capability leads me to one of our new services, WorkGraph. WorkGraph is a back-end service that basically creates a graph mapping out all of the different connections between an individual, the various contacts they have, projects they work on, conversations with others, the department and the teams they're in, across various tools like email, chat, and so on. And it does this by studying signals and their strength across the board to build a business-wide work graph that is specific to each individual. The next new service we've added is Mobile App Management which allows you to remotely provision and manage your team's devices. This also includes automatically assigning and installing specific apps to certain users, or updating the operating system, and even mandating security policies for your team. The third new service is Org Dictionary, and it's a unified dictionary for the organization. This means the dictionary you see across all pieces of writing, across all different applications, will become specific to the organization. So any weird names that are not common language. For example, if there's a weird product or a business like Zoho, even if you added a product into your inventory system, it would automatically bring that product into the org dictionary. As well as that, everyone listed as an employee in the business will be added to the dictionary. So finally, people will be able to spell my name without getting a squiggly line. And that brings us to the unified user experience. We are now offering a unified user interface so it's a way of being able to look and move around all of your Zoho One applications in the one spot. Now, a huge goal for us with Zoho One is being able to provide you with unified navigation and a unified calendar that you can feed everything into. Being able to offer a unified dashboard with over 50 pre-built widgets spanning the entire business operations that can be personalized on every user's home screen and also being able to offer unified configuration so you don't have to go to the individual settings of each app, something that the admins of your organization will love. These are some major things that we've changed to make the overall experience of Zoho One much more streamlined and efficient. And it's the same story in terms of third-party integrations. 
they are now unified and able to be brought into the Zoho One ecosystem. So you can access all of your applications, whether Zoho or third party, right from the one screen. If there's an external application that has a single sign-on, you can also integrate that so that when you sign into Zoho, it will automatically sign into your third party tool. Now, let's have a look at the new Zoho One. When we first log into the new Zoho One unified user interface, we can see our main dashboard. If we pan over to the left hand side, you can see all of the different applications that you have turned on within Zoho One. You can pin and unpin certain applications and the ones available in other apps are those most frequently used. When we go into more apps, you can see the groups of applications that you've created. Out of line apps, communication, your favorites. Create a new application group, simply click the button, put in the name like finance and add the applications that you want in that group. Then hit add. Now, if we go into Zia search, you can see we search David. Every instance of David across all of our different applications shows up here. Now let's search documents owned by Dave. All of those documents show up here. You can click on them, go into it, edit it, or you can do another search, documents shared by Dave. These are the documents that have been shared by Dave to you. And you can see we have different results here. Going back to our dashboard now, you can see it's super easy to create a new dashboard. Just enter the dashboard name, edit the visibility, and select the widgets you would like included in your personal dashboard. Then hit save and there's your brand new dashboard. Now, when we're on the main screen, it's really easy to access all of your applications right from the one screen. Here we've loaded Zoho Click, our team communication tool, and you can easily send messages to people inside and outside of your organization. Moving on to the directory, this is where you can find the settings across all of your different applications, as well as the main admin settings for your whole Zoho One account. Here's where you would add a new application. Simply click add invoice. And follow the prompts. You can also add or edit your users, manage your domains, and manage your team's mobile devices. If your team's bringing their own device, you would add that here and you have the option to share the enrollment link or enroll the device yourself. If you as a company bought the device for your team, you could enroll them here in the corporate enrollment section. Moving on to your marketplace, here is where you can easily add third-party applications such as Google. Simply search Google, select G Suite, and click Install. You can easily follow the prompts to complete the installation. You can also edit the settings for each of your applications, such as Analytics, Click. Within Click, you can change your personal notifications or information, and you can also edit at an admin level. Go into your Users. Here's where you can add users as well customize the themes, add any integrations, and the same goes for the CRM. You can see the CRM settings and other application settings are easily accessible right from the Zoho One directory panel. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the mini click built into the bottom of your Zoho One experience. As you can see, there are a lot of new features to try in Zoho One. If you have any questions or if you need any assistance, feel free to comment below or email us at anz-learn at zohocorp.com and we'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for your time and have a good one.